everybody Rambling Mike here I'm going to share with you today on the Five of Swords definitely not my favorite card when it shows up in the spread but it is what it is you know it's uh, the old victory at any cost card um, and of course these videos aren't for everybody these are for my tarot enthusiasts I brought my journal today Here's, here's my journal on uh, Five of Swords. I love the you know, Robin Wood that I have in there. You can see him right there. He's got all the swords and the little pompous look on his face. You know, ha, you get what you get. You know him. And uh, this card is definitely about manipulation and control to me, possible narcissistic behavior and all of that. Um, nice thing about these videos, you can stop them and pause them if you, if you want to write in your journals and all that you can come back and look at them anytime you want you know so got some of my favorite five of swords up here i want to share with you um that way you can you know just look at the cards while um, i read out of the books definitely going to read out of some books uh today here we go first one i want to share with you oh, i love it right there is the old deviant moon five of swords even got his little tongue sticking out there, you know. Man, he's got the old white flag on the castle back there. But uh, that ain't good enough. You know, he's got to put a little, you know, salt on the wound. Insult to injury right there. The old tongue sticking out. It's nice. Uh, then this is the um, Wild Unknown. I trimmed it down. Shows the old worm right there. Cut in two by the fifth sword. What else do we have here? Oh, yes, this is um, Mr. Marchetti's uh, Tarot Royale. I like this one because it definitely shows how I like to think about Five of Swords, about standing up in the front of the card yourself and doing what's best for you, you know. He has the victory right there. He ended up with all the swords, and uh, they all came against him, but... He came out on top of the situation. He didn't he didn't pick the fight, but he took the victory. Uh, this is um, the uh, Santa Maria. I like uh, Mr. Skeletor and his bride right there. They're definitely under the gun, huh? The other peeps definitely have the high ground on the situation with this Five of Swords. And what do we got right here? Oh, it's my um, Vampire Tarot. I trim down. It's kind of very pippish, but I like it. Uh, I like this five of swords with the old gargoyle right there. All five swords pointed at him. One looks like it's definitely right in the back right there. Uh, Tarot of Prague. It's nice. It has the old dragon. The dragon has all the little soldier swords. They're all scampering off right there. And uh, it's like, oh no, how are we going to protect the city now? The dragon has the swords. Uh, then this is um, Modern Spellcasters, which I cut down. I like them to fit in my hand. And again, uh, more of the victory side of this card. Uh, he has the two swords and the three swords are laying on the ground, has his fire lit, um, keeping all the wolves away from the camp. No doubt about that, you know. And um, this is uh, Terra Apocalyptus, which again, I made considerably smaller. I like him to fit in my hand. Uh, you can see just the rivalry in this card, you know, the old Vikings right there, the mockery. You know, it's nice. It's a really nice uh, five of swords and just the, the scheming and, and, the, and the shallow victory back there, you know, and just, you know, the, the haughtiness and the hooting in your face and all of that. And um, lastly, I have my star man, David Bowie, five of swords. And uh, he definitely has a death strike happening right there. With that sword. Now my favorite, of course, is my Terra Illuminati. And I always see it as uh, my my young prince right there. That He knew what he was going to do. He has his armor on. He was going to go down to the beach right there. And he did. 
and to steal all the swords from those characters in the back of the card, which he did. He has them all in his hand, has a little pompous look on his face, like, hope you get what you get, you know. This card for me is about doing what's best for you, setting yourself up in the front of the card in life, you know. Uh, we don't need the swords because we attempt to walk in love. We attempt to walk in light. But that doesn't mean that people get to come in here and wipe their feet all upon us because, you know, we're not milk toast. We're light warriors. And it's also swords, you know, which have to do with the thought process. Thinking, you know. If you find yourself in life with lots of five of swords activity around you, well, of course, you need to, you know, follow your inspired action and get the hell out of there. But over and above that, I mean, it's all, you know, law of attraction. If you find yourself down here on Five of Swords disc where Five of Swords people are at, you know, you need to get the hell off that disc and raise your vibration up here and fly high up, uh, much higher up here. Uh, by not thinking, you know, I mean, well, I always meet these kind of people. Wonder why. You know what I'm talking about. No, I always meet the amazing people. Those are who attracted to me. I fly up here. Nothing but the amazing come up here. Down here, old Five of Swords disc, they're wandering around wondering where the hell you went. Because really, in all reality, you're on another dimension. But I don't want to get too deep. It is swords, though. It is thought process. So watch your stinking thinking. Of course, inspired action. Get the hell out. But change your vibration. You know what I'm talking about? So that you don't find yourself on that Five of Swords disc again. All right. Let's read some books here. Something Wicked This Way Come. The Five of Swords is a card of extreme conflict. The victorious warrior has driven out opposing forces. They outnumbered him, but could not defeat him. Swords indicate a border dispute, a competition, or intellectual rivalry. This card also reflects the inability of communication. And it represents a failure to compromise. There is no joy or authentic happiness in the Five of Swords victory. The two losers have lost everything. The warrior is neither happy nor proud. The status quo and stability have been maintained, but at what cost? Force or authority were used, but was there another way? On a personal level, this card represents the effects of cruel words used as weapons and making yourself or others feel bad. A couple of uh, traditional interpretations for Five of Swords in the upright. This card is a call for careful examination of how you treat others and how you allow others to treat you. A reminder to reconsider your options. More on upright interpretation of Five of Swords. Intellectual contests, insults, threats, and verbal attacks. Meanness done to others as performance or entertainment. Gaining advantage over an opponent. Putting someone at a disadvantage. Destructive words. Boasting. Issuing a challenge. Egos fighting. One-upsmanship. Feelings of self-importance. A little more. Take what you can. Taking advantage and using an advantage. Seeking victory at any cost. Exploiting another's weakness. Gloating. Unnecessary dishonor. 
needing to get ahead, do or be done. Tough card right there. Like I said, if you find yourself on that disc, huh? Well, get yourself out of there, that's for sure, in the mundane, and then don't go back there by changing your vibration. All that stuff I was talking about. Let's take a look at some of it in the reverse. Definitely uh, the reverse Five of Swords is a much better card. One of the few reversals that is a positive card. It's very interesting. Um, it says burial or funeral. A terrible situation avoided. Old conflicts do not draw you in. You have moved past old and negative habits. Uh, a little more on traditional reversed five of swords. Inability to rise to intellectual to an intellectual challenge, being the victim of a verbal assault, weak ideas that do not stand up to testing, refusing to engage in competition. A couple of buzzwords for the reversed five of swords, open to change, past resentment. Uh, this card advises the seek. This is notes out of my journal. This this card advises the seeker in in all situations. It is wisest not to show any weakness, lest it be used against them. Also, it says that it's time for the seeker to put themselves first instead of putting others first. And you know. Um, Nothing wrong with healthy selfishness and loving yourself first. Nothing wrong with that. Hmm. All right. A couple of buzzwords right here. Got a lot of them. So you can pause it and all of that. Here we go. Buzzwords for five of swords in the upright. Disgrace. Exile. Defeat. Revenge. Drama, power, conflict, failure, unfairness, slander, cruelty, coward, cowardliness, sorrow, weakness, domination, uncertainty, difficulty, Challenge, tension, loss, win at all costs, betrayal, defeat, loss, arrogance, gloating, cheating, ego, turmoil, victory. Astrologically, the Five of Swords is Venus in Aquarius. And uh, the Golden Dawn Society's name for Five of Swords is Lord of Defeat. All right. Got a little poem for you here before I go. It's out of this little gem that comes with the Terra Illuminati kit. It's by Kim Huggins. It's a little poem. It's like, this is like Five of Swords talking. <laughs> All right, here we go. I came into this world with no special advantage, save for the brains in my head. I'd be a fool not to use my mind to its highest and keenest abilities. And when you need to get ahead, what is there standing in the way of a clever man like me except his own vague concept of honor? I'll tell you this for free. Honor will see you rot in the gutter and starve in the streets. Honor will see you pass from this world in mediocrity. And mediocrity is one of the greatest sins of them all. I have no qualms about attaining victory at any cost. 
Some might call it dishonor, cheating, or betrayal, but I call it cleverness. If my opponent shows weakness, I am not to blame. Only a coward would not use it to his advantage. In this world, we need every tiny advantage we can get. It is do or be done, kill or be killed. I am not killed and I am not done. Five of swords at any cost. All right. <laughs> what a fun one. Namaste, my friend. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.